heavy, huh? I wear shoes at work. I, I wear them on my bike, too, when I ride. Mm. People, I look like a Mormon when I'm riding to work. <laughs> you have your tie on? No, I don't wear a tie, but I have, I have a white shirt and dark pants and shoes. So where do you make a list? So do you go shower somewhere? I'm really enjoying it. Huh? I'm really enjoying it. T-shirt. More and more. Listen. Yep. That's a drawer way. Is it? Doesn't it? It feels like it. Right? What is? Into everything. Mathematics, uh, algorithms, uh, Recursive thinking. Which, which is it? Lisp. Oh, Lisp. Oh, Lisp. Yeah. Yep. Lisp process. Yep, yep. Lisp process. That's what it stands for. Lisp process. Oh, I, I was quite rusty on a few things. This is just a high school textbook I'm working through, but they're having you do some pretty nice stuff. Good, you can practice on the new computer I'm going to have to buy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a. Uh, it runs on anything, it's free. Uh, oh, Jabin, you came exactly at the right time. And if you get a little warm, I'll take your coat if you'd like. Um, just a thought. Ow. Yeah, getting used to these big claw hoppers is tough. I played with a little bit of Fibonacci numbers. Pardon me? The Fibonacci sequence. Yes, what about it? You like that? That was one of the... Well... Uh, yeah, the Fibonacci series. Yeah, right? 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 5. Yeah. Uh, what does that do with Lisp? Well, Lisp... Yeah. So they, they, uh, because that's uh, an algorithm that... You have to go back and get the previous two numbers to get the total for this number. So you're always looking at your, your previous two neighbors and jumping Is that back. right? Recursive. It's recursive, yeah. Uh, do you know it... Uh, what? It crosses over with the golden section. Oh, I'd like... A Fibonacci sequence does? Or some yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So. There's a guy who just came out with a new book called Plato's Cave. Yeah. Mathematician. And he has constructed what appears to be a coherent view of mathematics demonstrating that the four dimensions in which human beings exist matches Plato's Cave. So we live in the fourth dimension? I don't think so. Wow, that's... Well, it depends on what he calls fourth dimension. Yeah. What fourth dimension? I didn't know there was a fourth dimension. Oh, I'm missing out. Give me a second. The fourth here. dimension in mathematics is not the same as the fourth dimension in philosophy. Okay. Space time. Here we go. So David and I would like so to... So does that interest you? Well, but you've introduced yet another great topic, but I still don't see the connection between that either. So we have Lisp, recursion, Fibonacci sequence, the golden section, what is that for so far? Now we have Plato's cave and the fourth dimension that humans live in are all related somehow. Yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> See a guy by the name of Uspensky got one book called The Fourth Dimension by C. H. Hinton. And that that turned him into a mystic. C. H. Hinton has a cube. 
the interesting thing about it, it has a, a, a surface of 64 cubes, or faces of cubes, 8 by 8. And therefore, he has different colors. He puts different colors on the corners of each. And whether, and he uses other colors to show a motion between any two. Motion. All right. And therefore, the goal is to be able to visualize that cube with the colors, the way in which he arranges it, and then to learn to rotate the cube as a meditation. Sounds cool. So Uspensky's, wow. Uspensky's tertium organum was the result of his reflection, which, which he put forward a Neoplatonic vision for probably that turned many people towards this kind of thinking in the uh, 20s. Out of which later came Gurdjieff. But it's out of that visualizing mathematics. So what are you finding what's interesting? Look here. I don't know whether you're under you uh, know this young lady over here, Regina. Uh, are you? Oh, okay. Would you tell her what you find interesting about Lisp? Oh. Well, we already. Okay, so you're asking me again, huh? Yeah. Because now you're seeing it in a different way. <clears throat> I guess I was seeing the, the cleanness of it before and the simplicity, the elegance, and yet the power all in one. But now uh, it's, uh, well, the chapter that I'm working on is math, using Lisp with math. And uh, so it's, like you say, it, I'm finding it's a doorway into some very interesting problems or algorithms or phenomena. Especially algorithms. Yeah. Algorithms especially because uh, in my previous languages I'm used to not recursing but what they call iterating. Start with one, count to two, three, up to ten, and do what you have to do. And that's the way all languages are taught, essentially, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah the Harvard. What do they call it? Well, the Harvard architecture, isn't that where the Harvard art one, one follows the other there's a procedural language. It's the procedural. Said, that's a declarative language. Uh, right? Robin, have you gotten into this? Yes. Huh. But the thing I like about these kind of languages, Erlang is another thing. Here, come over here because yeah, uh, come on over here. Yeah, what, yeah what, or move your chair I, the hell over here. About these, yeah, these languages. Yeah, Erlang is another one. Yeah, yeah. You, the basic assumptions that you make really impact the discoveries you can make. Like, ah, that's it. That's the key, right? Oh, you got it. Er, Erlang <laughs> assumes there's multi-threading going on. I mean, you don't have to explicitly. Uh, handle multi-threading. It, it's a multi-processing uh, language. I mean, you, you, and it multi-threading for those of us who are not computer scientists means uh, having the computer do multiple jobs at once. Oh, yeah, essentially, a thread is the basic execution unit. What is a thread? The thread. Yeah, it's the basic execution unit of a program. And uh, when you, I, I don't under, I, it's very interesting how, how when you, uh, the complexity goes away. Uh, just Robin, would you be interested in knowing that 
Jeff, who has an interest in Platonic dialectic, how he relates that to Lisp. Oh, how do you, John? How do you? Yeah, I, um, I don't yet. I'm going to just be honest. I don't see the connection yet. But, oh. but the fact that you are pushing that, or you see something, or you're curious about it, certainly makes me curious. I'd like to see a connection between okay. those two. Maybe we should find out what he means by the thread. Okay, Robin? Yeah. What do you mean by the thread? Uh, well, the basic execution unit, uh, I guess, it, the machine starts you know, executing instructions one by one, one following the other. The computer language is simply for the programmer to, to help the programmer understand what the what he's doing, the computer is doing, what the computer is doing. Yeah, it's a, it's a way of translating. What is its implications on the mind? The, the assumptions you make really. The assumptions you make. The assumptions make, you make determine. Determines your universe. The, 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 the difficulties you have. The difficulties you have. The, uh, the kind of questions you can ask. The kinds of questions you <laughs> ask. Go ahead. Interesting. Come on. You're, you're kind of in this desert of memory. That's, that's one one way my compute my instructor described it. A no, say, wait a minute, memory. wait a minute, hold it, say it again. A desert of memory. Yeah. There's so much. There's megabytes and gigabytes. They come up in megabytes. Yeah, yeah, there's so much. How do you do something with it? That's the question. Yeah. And what have you come up with? <clears throat> I was thinking of the same thing this morning. Why do I remember one certain thing about... 113. I, why do I remember one certain thing wait, about... Wait, 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 hold it. Wait a minute. What's the number? Well, it's not, one, it's not 113, but I'll say a certain thing. I remember when I was young... Um, my sister said I was fighting with the waves. What? Why do I remember that one thing? Yes, good. And not all of the other And times. nothing else. I spent hours in the ocean. I spent hours in the ocean. And I only... But this comes back to me. That's right. This, this one... That's right. Instant. And, and what have you come up with? Why that one? No, 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 no. What did you? What have you come up with? The memory. You know what? There's a hidden assumption that you don't know, and it keeps coming up because your mind wants to know that hidden assumption and make it explicit. Huh? Is that possible? Possible. Would that be using Lisp? Well, I, I would have to like change my paradigm, basically, to start using Lisp, uh, possibly to see. Well, wait a while, wait a while, wait a while. What was the image? Oh, what, your sister came out. My, my sister said I was fighting the waves. Hold it. Notice the way you use your hands every time you say that. Yeah, like, well, fighting. Right? Yeah, well, cool. Right? So it captures you physically, doesn't it? Really? There are more chips. In right? The yeah. Yeah. Is she older or younger? She's older. Oh, therefore she had a status. Yes. What was her status? She was. At the, especially at that time. Well, we were very close. And she oh, was, very she was close. Older. She was kind of a, you know, uh, influential. A big sister. Yes. Yeah. Substitute mama? Pretty much. Ah. Yes. Uh, but, but different in respect. You had a much more intimate relation and, and a kinship? Yeah. So she was sharing something with you? Well, I think she was giving me feedback. I don't know that word, feedback. She's, 
That's what cows what, do. What? What it looked, what it looked like to her, you, you, from her perspective. And she, and at that moment, she was quite serious. Yeah. Right. Yes. And she wanted to communicate something to. Her. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see yourself in that language before? Uh, fighting I, the it, waves? It was actually what I was doing, actually, I, I remember it. So she captured what you were doing? Yeah, yeah. She mm. noticed. And she noticed it? Yes. Hey, what did that do to you? It meant, hey, things are intelligible. Yeah, we were on the same wavelength. Right, you're on the same wavelength, right? <laughs> so to speak. That had an impact. Yeah, it was, a, it was Did, kind of a joke. Yeah, a, fi a, a private joke. Yeah, and she got it. And she got it. Yeah, and she mentioned it. So but, you spent hours in the waves, Yeah. and she captured it at this moment that you're fighting the waves. I don't know why, you know. Huh? Having fun. I, w I, uh, I remember that. But I don't remember everything. Else. Of course. Yeah. By the way, uh, what happened after that with you and her? What did it start? Hmm. Well, uh, after a while, I re I just we didn't get along that good because uh, after that, what happened? No. She, I didn't think, uh, liked me very much. Pardon me? I didn't think, I thought she didn't like me very much. After that? Yes, because uh, she was a teenager and I was younger. Yeah, but, but what led you to think, because she made that remark, that that may have contributed to that perception that she didn't like you? How did she say it? Oh, what attitude? Know. What attitude she well, have? I think my attitude was wrong. I, I not. I think often I shouldn't be fighting things. I should be just going with them. Why? Well, you know, I I often think of that. Uh, well, I'm fighting things when I shouldn't be fighting them. Though, so that's a general vision she shared with you about the way you were doing things yeah i think so huh well when i when i remember this i think that's what comes to mind yeah 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 after that uh, how was your relation with her we fought a lot actually after yeah. that yeah yeah we we did uh it's did, did something yeah we did we actually had hey. physical altercations yeah but why do you think because of that that? I don't know. That's a good one, isn't it? A good one. How did she Maybe look when she said it? Come on, how did she look when she said it? I don't think she had an expression. Yeah, like what? I don't think I really looked at her. I think I was just listening. That's okay. I just remember how'd she, hearing it. So how did she look? I don't I don't remember. Just yes, she, not, she hey, wasn't smiling. She the, was, the smile? Not a smile. No smile? Mm -hmm. Serious? Not not uh, not mad looking. Not mad. Just no expression. But uh, yeah, yeah. May maybe I was angry. Maybe that's maybe I had too much anger. She saw you may have been angry. She might have seen that. Yeah. And and did that come as a surprise that someone could see it? No, I don't think so. Right? I don't think I... But she saw it and put it in words. Yeah. No one else did. Likely or... She... Yeah, it was obvious to me. Yeah, but was it obvious to others? No. No? Mm -hmm. So you discovered... Because my dad was there too. Yeah, okay. This was, this was in Santa Monica, I remember. But by the pier in Santa Monica. And we had, we had just moved, uh, you know, across the country. What's interesting, though, is that uh, 
what kind of tone came with the, that comment? Just matter of fact. Matter of fact, right? Stating just stating the fact. Just yeah. a fact. There it is. Summarizing. Yeah. Why do you think it might follow after that you guys got in fights? That's a good question. I don't know. She wanted to control me. You know, she wanted to. Make she wanted me, to control she wanted you. To control me. She wanted to make me do things. Ah, that she wanted ah, me, ah. me to do. Uh, was that the start of it then? Yeah, we never, we never oh, fought so like that. That was the start of it. We never fought like that uh, back east. No, oh. we never did. Uh, but now that after the wave event. Yeah, well, at the same. It started time, a war. Yeah, she started. Uh, hey, it started a, uh, a little war between you. Yeah, we did have uh, for years. For years. Yes. Until I got bigger. And then she leaves you alone. I don't leave you alone. Then she would never pick on me. Yeah. Because I would. Yeah. But after I that, I beat her up. And ah. She quit. So did, did that suggest in any way that uh, the picking began after that remark? I don't know when it began. Is, is that interesting? But we got along really good. Uh, before that. Before that. Yeah. yeah, this is a turning point in your relationship. We, well, it wasn't just that. It was moving. Yeah, okay. Moving. It just, we were uprooted. Yeah. We moved to a different sure. state. And we didn't, uh, we didn't have, we had friends, but I don't know. But she caught you, different, right? Different she, people, you know. Yeah. And then uh, she... Why are you hey, my brother it, was around before that. Uh, so is it possible that um, if someone can put it into words, then that finish it? If somebody can put it into words, you, what you are doing, you can. Uh, you stated the problem. You can. You can solve the problem. Mm. She, she, she didn't in any way try to help you with fighting the waves. She just made the judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Right? She did. And I, and what comes to mind when I think of this, and I often do, is that uh, maybe I shouldn't have been fighting. Maybe, what was? Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have been fighting. Maybe I, maybe it was, uh, Maybe but it was ridiculous. Uh, and she spotted you being ridiculous. Yeah, I think she did. Fighting the waves is ridiculous. Yeah. There were but, water. Wait, but, but then you changed the fight from the waves to her. Yeah, I did. Uh, Isn't that funny? Hmm. I think I had a lot of anger. What, what? I think I... I was a little kid with a lot of anger, of and I didn't even know I had anger. But she spotted it yeah. in the waves, yes. not at home, not anywhere else. No, she, I remember her saying that. Because they don't, you can't hurt a wave by punching it. <laughs> but if someone can see that. And, and put it into words. Are they helping you understand the war with the waves? Or just making the statement? I, I think she had a, a, a better perspective on, on it than I did. What, what, what? She had a better, pers different perspective, better perspective. I, in what way is it better? Well, she could see it from a distance. Uh, and I was right in it. And you were in it. So it helped you, but well, then there's a, a new way of seeing emerge. It's like, it's like looking in a mirror. Yeah, that's what she did, she gave you a mirror. Yes. Ah, so your reflections then started from that point. Yeah, she, she, uh... She helped you grow up. Pretty much, yes. In the sense, yeah. gave you a... A mirror upon which you could reflect. Yes. We grew up together. Yeah. 
Yeah. By the way, do you know uh, offhand when that memory comes back? Oh, it's just about every time I look at a wave, you know, <laughs> every, almost daily. That comes back. Yes, I do right. remember that. Then you're looking at your waking up. But by the way, did you discover why you were fighting the waves? I didn't know what else to do. Of course. I didn't know how to use the waves. Yeah, I didn't know how to use the waves. No, I didn't know how to use them. Yeah. What does that mean now? After a while, you what does that mean now? I didn't know how to use the waves. Now you can use the wave to body surf or whatever, you know, it's uh, it's it's a lot better. You, you, instead of fighting it, you use it. Uh, where else are your fights? God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Where do you want me to Apply start? it now. Where else are, the, are your fights? Mostly, mostly at home. <laughs> yeah. Hey. With my wife constantly. Yeah. Like you're still fighting the waves at home. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And you have to discover what then? How to use the way. How do you how do you use it? Huh. Yeah. It took a while. It takes a while to learn. No, no, it doesn't. It takes a while to perfect it. Yes. Maybe, but not to that's, change. That's right, that's right. You just do it once. You have to. Just do it once. Just do it once. And yeah. Stop fighting. Yeah. And start doing. Start. What would it be like t t to deal with that way of being at home then? I think it's. I think it'd be very important. I think. I think you're much better off when you're. Uh, because that's the way. But you, that means you'd have to give it up. Well, I wouldn't do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Robin, don't do it. If they don't see it, don't change. I don't. I wouldn't mind giving it up. That, that's all right, but why give it up if your wife doesn't see it? Well, I don't think The hell her. with her. I think it's me. What, know? what? It's not her, it's me. Oh. I'm not, I'm not using my resources, you know, I'm not taking... You're not applying. I'm not... I'm fighting. You know? Not applying that principle. If I'm, yeah, if I'm fighting, I'm, I'm obviously right there where I was. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to stop fighting. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Hey, what do you think of this? This. It's, it's a different paradigm. What? It's a different paradigm. It's a, well, I don't know those words. What does that mean? It's a, a paradigm. It's a shift. It's a shift. All the assumptions are different. Oh, are you seeing a new sets of assumptions? I don't know. I think I would. It oh. would naturally follow oh. that it would be a different. But if I, it would. It would be the same thing. Hmm. Because my basic assumption of fighting would be. Hmm. How is that like, Lisp? Did we go through a Lisp? <laughs> I don't know. It would be different. Well, there may maybe there's a higher Lisp, and someone like you has to do the work to show it. I think. The mo I think it's a model. You know, a computer is a model of, of reality. It's, it's, it's not any different then? Than, than reality. I mean, if it were, uh, by the way, if it, it were, it would be useless. But uh, if a computer did not model reality, it would be useless. I mean, it, I suppose you you could make it model unreality. And that would be interesting. 
it, but it, it'll only be interesting in its relation to r real reality. By the way, it, it, it's, uh, it's not like reality, by the way. You don't think so? No, it lacks several major features of reality. Now that I've completely been hooked into computers for <laughs> almost all day long, I because any reality. anything alive in re how much is is life in reality? Well, you, you spend a lot of time communicating with people, and that's oh. You know, by the way, kind of like do things things that are alive in reality do they generate things of their own kind? Yes. Oh, it does computers? Yes, yes. It, what does it generate? Well, you, you have Facebook and no, you have do, friends and do, more minute, friends. Does someone have to generate it? There's, yeah, there's, there's a programmer working. So, yeah, someone has to generate it, yes. give birth to it. Yes, it has. There's electricity involved. Yeah, but does does it produce things of itself, and like itself, or must the programmer? It's hard to say, you know, it's uh, cyberne cybernetic, cybernetic. Yeah, well. Just on its own accord, it, it does things. But can it, is it producing something like itself? Not whether or not it's creative. It seems, it seems to be growing. Even though it's growing, does it create things of its, look at, is it like a cat that can give birth to kittens, like itself, that has its separate existence? Facebook is a creation. Huh? Facebook is a creation. It's a creation. It's but is it, is it, it did, did someone use the principles to create it, or did it create itself? I don't know if it created, no, no, it definitely did not create Oh. Itself. Well, I'm talking about the ephemeral things like software those things seem to to have a lot of the characteristics of life they do uh, I, there's but, a whole category called artificial life uh, yeah and then AI, people study right? that yeah artificial life no it's artif not artificial intelligence artificial life and they look at the characteristics that uh, computer things have that are similar to to life, like viruses, you know, By a the computer way. virus. Uh, 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 Although viruses aren't in the Yeah, but see, if it can produce a parasite, it's a low form of life. Well, they say a, a, lot, a virus is not even alive. Yeah, okay, let's try it one, one last. A uh, parasite is... Okay. Is it the... Is it the is it the uh, computer expert that is generating these new forms, or is it the machine itself independent? I, I think these things are very similar to geometric objects or geometric sh shapes, and the, they reflect the laws of the universe in By that the way, way. Does it understand what it's producing? Does it take a, a computer expert to understand what is being produced? They, they have things that understand uh, in a way. They, they, uh, it's art, artificial intelligence and they have, they have algorithms that in a way they understand. Uh, and can you now explain now how AI, in respect to being resident in a computer, it, it can uses, now understand itself? It can't understand. I don't know if it could understand itself. But that's what we're on, isn't it? it I don't know if they're so, they're not self-reflective. No, they're not. Uh. You know, we're expecting people like you to go on and do some more work for us. I don't know if, uh... Well, what, by the way, what work are you in on in uh, well, AI or LISP? Well, I just, I'm a programmer. I'm a computer uh, programmer. Which one? I, I work on, I work on what, what? business systems mainly. Business systems? Yeah. Applica web applications. 
Jeff, what should he get into to get into more reflective LISP? Well, what interests you? Uh, well, where would you like to get into? I, I, uh, I, I, uh, uh, machine learning is interesting. I, machine learning. Machine learning. Machine language. Machine learning. Oh, machine yeah. learning. I should study this very thing that we're talking about. Machine learning. Uh, what does that look like? What, what's interesting about machine learning? Well, they use... Uh, what can it do? Well, basically, they use, like, uh, you know, statistics. And uh, they, like, uh, you know, uh, figuring out, you know, plots. You know, like you can use statistics and do re regressions. And, and you can even do that with, you know, three-dimensional graphs and figure out if not something is significant or if it's just random. And, uh, they don't do much with it, but they use it a lot. Machine, machine learning. I mean, a machine can learn. Um, it can make determinations. Would doing that involve, uh, would getting into that involve um, changing uh, your paradigm, your way of looking at things? Mm. Uh, mm. No, I, you know, it, it's, to me it's platonic. It's very, it's, uh, I look at, there's, there's reality and then there's the reality of geometry. And, and the reality of geometry is uh, platonic reality. And that's where the enduring things are. You know, the, the, the laws of uh, geometry, the Pythagorean theorem, uh, the, those things endure. And, and I, I think all of that is found in, in, in computers, definitely. If, uh, Could you use Lisp or another language uh, to explore that geometry? Uh, that would be interesting. I, I mm. suppose, yeah. Hmm. What, what, would it, what would it require of you to do that? More time. <laughs> More time. Uh uh. Come on. What would it? What are we, uh, right now, I don't have any time. More time with what? Just playing, playing with uh, computers. Uh uh. People play with computers all the time. In what way do you think you're going to have to play? with computers to gain this insight? I think I'd have to let them do the work. Let oh, you're fighting the waves? Make them do the work. Oh, hey, yeah, are you yeah, fighting yeah. the waves? I'm not taking advantage like I should. Hey, is that going on? I think so. That's part no, of it. I wouldn't have guessed. Kind of... Uh, oh, what does that mean? For you? Yeah, that's... Well, what would have to there's change? A of, there's a lot of other ways to fight things. <laughs> <laughs> just, just you're, making, you're making learning fighting. Yeah, I think I resist. You know, right? Yeah, I Is it time to uh, take a look at the waves? Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. What would, would that be different? Yes. Oh, how, what would it take to do it? 
I guess I would have to stop fighting and just right, right, start right, start fighting the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, is it is it interesting that your future with Lisp ends up with the problem of the wave? Hmm. Yeah, just just like when we started talking today, everything uh, went from yeah. golden section, fourth dimension, Lisp. Ah, waves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. <laughs> Something diabolical about this, but go ahead. Well, you both are into waves. Yeah, and you know, the funny thing is, every time he comes over, he says, have you been into the waves? <laughs> he asked me if I've been surfing. And I tell him the same thing, my back hurts, and no, but uh, she's, my, she's my, my paddle. Good show. But it's funny. She is busy. I've got pictures of my garden. What? Wow. Pictures of my garden. When did virtual reality oh, become hey. reality? How was your work last night? Oh, oh what do you got? Whipped it out. Come on, what do you got? Yes. A dream? No. What? <laughs> I mind. I mind. A statement. <laughs> I oh, mind. A statement. I, I mind. That's the name. I mind. Shall I turn it? Yeah. This Ready? This is. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody connected with Kevin, or is it put off for another side? I did not connect with them because I got stuff. And, and you getting got this ready for two hours in the morning uh, it does not allow me to inter interact. This morning wow. I was chatting with him on Facebook. Yeah, he wants to connect and, and actually sit in on our talk this morning. He wanted someone to IM him, and that uh, way he can make a connection from Cambodia. But I sent him an email and said, I've got my actual girlfriend, would that help? And he, so far, isn't, um, hasn't responded. And that was like 30 minutes ago. Oh, so I'll send him a message. Cambodia is probably at 9, 10 o'clock at night. Get a no, he said it's midnight for him. Oh, it's my house. Uh, so, yeah, well, it's night time over there. When it's morning. <laughs> But the country already knows. I was yeah, just wondering. I guess you guys are in India to find the truth. Or something. <laughs> Somebody. I don't know. I, 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 I don't have a camera. I don't have a reality. I don't have a chat. No, so I wish I had his personality. No, no I don't. I hate his personality. I wish I had a gift of that. He said an iPad like Pierre has or David has. Just drink it. Oh, is that what it is? So. So you just you go I everywhere you go and you drink. What's his last courage? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Forget about all your problems. They don't really try to kill you. Know, you know, so I really want to. Yeah. It's bad for your health. He's going to save you know. money and then take it. It's just, it's just room, trip of India. And then double edged sword. Oh, that's right. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do shit. Then, I already can't do shit. So you don't have to yeah. Uh, like yeah, he was here, but he didn't really know me too much. I think he doesn't have any transportation when he comes to here. You know, Something he doesn't have a car here, I think. That so he ends up stuff. being uh, in a lot of conflict. Uh, I did go out with yeah. him more last yeah. night. We got a couple of beers and played some pool. That's nice. Yeah. Would that be after? I don't know. Huh? That after the it may not be up either. He said he would struggle to make it today. And need plan for it and all this other stuff. I just thought yeah. I would ask. I, I don't know. I haven't heard. And you tried to die. I this morning or a couple hours. No, I heard you say that. that no, really. But right really now there's only going to be an hour, but I guess we'll go to the floor. There's nothing to check. You can't make a connection. Well, I mean, I think you've got this big chat for a moment. And is that what you're going to Yes, but I don't see anything from our for a couple hours. I'm there. That's all I got to go on. Obviously. Yeah, you can do a Skype 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 Skype
So here, what do you think? Or what do you <laughs> give any questions? <laughs> Hey, if you're going to talk with him, you got to take the hot seat. I don't want the hot seat. For the audio. You're cold, believe me. You're cold. I'm not hot. All right. Thank you. You're talking about it. I don't care. I don't care. Is there some kind of strike? Later on, it's not on the phone. It's a pizza. That's me. Green Man is my buddy. You come over. No, I have a license that I can have four plants. He said he might have trouble staying away. So you can have a Sure. Yeah, job. He might have tried an hour ago or something. Now I don't know. I have my chocolate bar. What? What? I don't know. Why do you say it's a function of the brain? I don't like Well, that's what my book said. Pardon me. Why do you say? Well, I, I want to try to deal with that. I mean, okay, could you have, okay, well, that's a question I have. Like, if you if your brain is not working, mm -hmm. is there still the mind? I mean, I think there is still mind. If individuals' brains stop working, mind is still around. But is that person's mind, their individual mind, Say, still um, around? Do they mind after their death? Why did you go for examples? Well, those examples came to mind one day when I was just in a creative mood. I'll tell you what, let's, okay. let's share the problem, okay? Okay. If you wanted to in some way communicate okay, yeah. uh, the meaning of this word mind, right? how would you do it? If someone came up to you and said, hi, Sam. Hi. Say, I understand you use the word mind, is that right? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, oh. Well, I'm new in this country, and English is not my first language, and I have a problem understanding words. What do you, can you give me a very clear uh, example or tell me the meaning of the word mind? English? Can you repeat that? <laughs> yes. Can you repeat it? Yeah. Do you use the word mind? Yes, I do. What do you mean? I mean that you have to... What? what? You have to think. Barbara? <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? He said he means that what you have to think. A what? He uses the word mind. What do you think of that? Um, I think maybe the question wasn't clear for him. Yeah, I thought question. so too. Would you help? But uh, 
I don't think I, well, hmm. Oh, well, you're interested in dreams, right? Yes, I am. So, dreams and you're aware in yourself of fantasies and daydreams and such like? Do you regard those, especially dreams in your own experience, as intelligible? Meaning you can gain an understanding of them? Uh, yes, yes, you can yeah? get some good insights from them. And so would you agree that insofar as you can get insights, they're rational? They're, so, they're a product of mind? Yes. So you would go further and say that mind is present even when you're asleep? Insofar as it can create dreams? <laughs> I think so, yes. So, so it's can, there. You, can you describe that what must be the nature of mind insofar as it can produce dreams? And I've heard other things, but for the moment, dreams? Um, I, I, I can try to describe the mind when, it's, uh, when we're sleeping and how it uh, forms a dream, helps put a dream together. Hmm. Would that help? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think of that? Yeah, hold it, hold it. Oh, I'm going to say, in terms of Pierre's question, if we got somebody new coming in here, I would say they probably would not have agreed with you, Barbara. Yeah, like, but I, Seon is the one oh, who's answering. He will agree. I, 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 He's the one who's answering. Yeah. Okay, no, I, I got you, I was saying, but if, with Pierre's question, somebody new comes in here and they want to, we're trying to describe what mind is to them. With, if you asked them, do you think a dream's intelligible? I'll use plenty of people I know. They say, nope, random means nothing. So you have a different strategy? I'm trying to come up with one myself. Uh, I was thinking, what would be a direct way of explaining it? Um, I've tried this a few times with uh, friends of mine. Uh, yeah. I think the best I ever did was I went through the argument of equality in the Phaedo, and that got that would maybe touch on on the realm of mind for somebody who's unfamiliar. Well, let the get to. Well, I'd, I'd ask them what their highest experience of beauty is. Oh, well, why? Because that's good. Because well, then I'd push Come it. On, because I'd say, would it? Would it be? Would it? Would you find it remarkable that your highest experiences of beauty would also be able to be described by the word? Yeah. Mind? Now. What leads you to oh, attribute that to mind? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was just coming. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pierre, what'd you say? Why attribute that to the mind? I believe that that's how the universe is set up. The, the greater, more profound experience of beauty, the more mind. Uh, you, you go for that? And the more belief. <laughs> Oh, that's um, uh, while I, I agree with what he said, I'm not sure mm -hmm. it uh, satisfactorily spears the question, answers the question. Uh, but I don't know how... Right, like I'm wondering, does what I said, does my definition capture the elements that Barbara is focusing on in terms of dream work, right? Like, if you get into dream work, then you discover intelligibility and beauty so, simultaneously. So if you if you want to then explore this curious notion of mind, it looks like dreams and experience of beauty itself mm. oh, is yeah. the way you would go. What do you think of what they're doing? They're doing something rather curious, aren't they? They're not going into... The, the kinds of examples you do. Well, yeah, like they're all talking about intelligibility. The examples I gave don't have any intelligibility in them, but they have the usia function. Could I see that paper? Uh, on what level? Is it a, is it on the same level? No, no. Oh, so if you want to talk about mind, then <coughs> are you going to go for? What range? Well, I don't know. I mean, I would think I would cover the whole range. Well, then would you in, would you start with the what at least what these people are talking about? 
Well, obviously, I didn't start with what they're talking about. I started with more mundane kind of. Why did you start with mundane things, since it may not get to your point? Well, I can easily get to the higher level. You kind of struggle your way up. I have a pen here. (laughs) (laughs) Put it on an eraser. No, she said easily. Easily, Easily, she said. Easily get to the higher level. So I, I mean, I didn't know where to begin. Uh, but I find it fascinating that, that there's such an extremity of, ra- of a range within the term mind. Like there's both intelligibility and something else. But in both cases, we're talking about, I don't know what the hell we're talking about. Um, well, that's why it's interesting. Right. Because you don't know what you're talking about. I uh, am. Yeah. You're speculating. Well, I wouldn't. That's right. I don't know. Go ahead. Speculating. If I am, maybe I'm good at it. But you did cut yourself off. You were saying, but in both cases. Well, I want to say in both cases there's usia functioning. Although, yeah, I mean you, you, um, yeah, because when you recognize beauty, you're recognizing there's an usia function going on. You're, you're comparing it to some model, yeah. some pattern of beauty that you have. To recognize beauty, mm. you have to have that comparison point. Um, By the way, uh, but I just so found let me ask you a question. Examples is uh, are you the kind of yes? Are you the kind of person who's done some sitting? Yeah. Is it possible that maybe you encountered certain states of mind that you thought were significant? Yeah. Why don't you use those as examples of mind? Why don't you draw upon yourself instead of going to these examples you're pulling out of books? Well, because I, you know, I, I don't have a framework. If I had a clear framework, then I could like bring things in and place them here and there. But I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll no, bring see, that in. But see, and then I'll, I guess I'll organize it later. That's very good. You need a framework in which to talk about what you have experienced. Yeah. And what has had an impact on you. Right? Yeah. Well, why don't you check around and see whether anyone has discovered such a thing? I myself, you know, the last person to ask. Well, at least he's on the list. That would be my thought. If he's positioned himself as the last person. Right. (laughs) And that just means we get as many answers as we can. Well, how about you start? (laughs) <laughs> I have a bad memory. That's why it's best that I don't start. A framework for the mind? I mean, because, like, when I think of writing or talking about the mind... No, no, you're not I talking think, about the mind now. Mm-hmm. Now you're looking for a structure within which to be able to place these kinds of experiences that will then help you understand it and then conclude from that the nature of the mind. So, look, look, quick, look how fast Sam jumps in there. I can't help but to think when I had that experience in Esalen a year ago, remember, when I Excellent. <laughs> yeah, he caught a shark. What? Yeah, what I did the thing. Anyway, I uh, I recall being three parts. You know, the physical body part, and I recall the my mind was still alert all night long. I mean, the whole time it was the body, my mind. I always felt like the soul was a separate entity. And I don't know how to describe it, but it was just a knowing 
such as these three pieces exist. And the three pieces being of the body, the mind, and the soul. Okay. Thank you, thank and you, thank you, thank you immensely. Thank and you. they were all like alive. So I'm wondering, like, if, if, say, if the body does die, of the soul still exists, the soul and the mind still exists. No, if the mind can exist, if it's still the body is dead. So that was the part that, that the, the the writing that I wrote about, mm -hmm. I don't have it. If, if you want to review it, and then just maybe. So are you saying the see, soul and the mind? You see, Seon is, is raising a fundamental yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you see it as? Well, on one hand, he wants to say, I think he's saying that the mind was aware of that separation, but at the same time seem to want to maybe say soul and mind are the same thing. Yeah, you're talking about... And if the body goes, then they both, the soul and mind are then gone. Yeah, when the, if there is a separation of the soul from the body, or whatever it is that separates, right. would you not want to know whether or not mind accompanies it? And that's yeah. what Sayon is raising, that if right. you want to go for a higher view of this problem, would that not be a good place? Yeah, because that's a question I have about the soul and the mind. Well, Sometimes I then you've been hiding that all this time? Well, I was just about to say it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. you anticipated. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Come on, what more do you see on that? Uh, hmm. Since you were about to say it, so... Well, yeah. What is the difference between the soul and the mind? Where does are they different? No, no, sure. sure. Yeah, that's, that's the answer to the last question, not the first. What you want to find out is more about the separation of the soul from the body. Like, is it possible? If such a thing were to take place, mm. but it would not be accompanied by the mind, then there might be a separation, but it may not be too significant for us. <coughs> like, if the second law of thermodynamics is true, there's nothing created or destroyed. Yeah. So everything that dies, nothing, nothing is is changed, therefore right. there must be something that goes on, yeah. but it may not be mind. So what's the significance if there is a separation of soul from the body and clearly mind is present? Well, I would think that the mind would oversee that process. Oh, see, now, if that were true, then what would you expect would follow if it is in charge or then it has nothing to do with one's death or the separation of the soul. No, it would body. mean it would it would continue its function when right. it's separated. Right. So what evidence would there be that it continues its its operation after such a separation? Well, if the soul then takes on another body, mm. then there should be some intelligibility yeah. to. Okay. But what evidence could there be of anything after the? Well, what do you have in mind, Pierre? After the soul leaves the body. Now what? stay with what you're saying. Okay. If there is such a thing as a separation with an accompaniment a mind, then you'd want to see whether or not. It functions when it's separated in a very clear and significant way. Before any reincarnation, if there is any, right? I have a friend of mine. Okay. He separated himself from the body. While he was sitting? Yeah. Had his mind going. <laughs> and he learned it 
Egyptian hieroglyphics when he came back. He could demonstrate it. If that were the case, would you say that would be a good example? Uh, it's likely, yeah. Yeah, I would too. Mm -hmm. So then, if, if there is such a separation, you'd want some kind of evidence of change in mind functioning. All right? Okay, you're talking about somebody who's When sick, it is separated. And yeah. they separate their soul from their body. And then when the, the, the soul comes back, or yeah. the body catches up, or whichever, there should be some intelligible change attributed to the mind. But the intelligible, significant change would have to occur in the separation. And presumably, yeah. something would be brought back if there was a return. Yeah. Agree? <laughs> no, no. We left a good question, didn't we? Did you have a seizure? No, not yet. About the spine? Oh, you are. Hmm. It is. <laughs> and the soul is separate? But we left a good question, didn't we? Oh, uh, what question was that? The, that we're looking for a structure within which to put this stuff. Well, maybe we should... Or find our, some way to put put them both together. Or shift the paradigm. Of yeah, we need a shift in the paradigm. We use a different... Yeah, we need language. a new paradigm. We need lists. Go ahead. Do a program. Figure it out. Tell me tomorrow. Give me a call. <laughs> no, we don't need a new paradigm. We still need the framework. Framework, yes. So, oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to? So Pierre had asked anybody in the circle to jump in. Had you not? With uh, some offerings to Julie. That was it? my job. I was supposed to. Did you have a cup? Did you want You're to up. add something? I, I'm. I'm the last. A second to the last on the list. Uh, I, Ten times past anybody else. There are way more people better in here. But How about Regina? Oh, uh, framework, mine. Oh, framework. I don't know what that would entail after the separation of the soul from the body. Um. Well, there's the myth of Ur. Apparently there's a lot of stuff going on, but I don't know what would entail in the framework. I don't know. So are you trying Reflection? to find something that out there already to do the... Sorry, are you... No, I, if it was mined, uh, one of the things I guess would be whether it would continue its recursive quality afterwards to reflect on what experience it's having at that moment in time after the separation and what ex what it experiences and be able to describe it to itself um, or or it doesn't so I would imagine that mine would be able to do that if or hopefully you separate yourself from your body and continue your reflection considering what it is that is reflecting, what the nature of that is. Um, I guess you'd ask what are the elements um, that we have belief, we have opinion, we have understanding, we have knowledge. Can, there, can that be used as a framework in terms of the divided line, those cognitive mm -hmm. levels? And what would be entailed in those different levels? With the mind reflect on that. That's as far as I'm going. Well, that's helpful. Could I don't know. 
could anything that we framework. we associate with mind subsist without, let's say, I didn't exist? Let's say I didn't exist. All the things that you associate with mind, would they still function? Just forget about me. I'm not here. Oh, yeah. So everything that has to do with mind isn't really dependent upon whether an individual experiences or not. Uh, so uh, what I'm wondering is why we have to keep using this word you or my soul or um, that I get I get to experience it whether is there something in mind that is 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 more more substantial than whether or not anybody gets to participate in it or not that could be defined apart from the individual that's my contribution so that suggests that you're participating in, we participate in mind. We participate in mind, but mind doesn't need us to subsist. To subsist, right. Not that it doesn't make it very much fun if we all get to, but... but uh, so then we all participate in the same mind. That could be. Uh, 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 that could be the next step. And the same intelligibility. And I would understand the same things you understand if I were to ever join in that mind that you participated. So, do I understand this question of framework came up, especially in regard to your putting your meditation experiences, your sitting experiences, into a framework, right? Because you, can I assume you have a framework for the ones you noted down here? Well, I have a couple of examples here of yeah, yeah. the I use of it. mind, but they're not, um, they don't address intelligibility. Or intelligibility. They address more the usia function and um, kind of the artist model copy idea. Yeah, actually, I was just asking you for clarification. Is yes. Is it because you wanted a framework for your meditation experiences? that you went for wanting a clear framework? You, I think that was the language I wanted. I'm looking for a framework, framework. So, that I'm, so that I, I... I guess it's like putting a picture puzzle together. You know, when you have a thousand piece puzzle and you try to put the border together first to kind of... I don't know, it's that kind of idea that... Um, if I have a border, then I know the parameters in which I'm working, and I can, it seems like it'll help me to get some sense of what may fit in there, and what, I may recognize what doesn't fit in there. Sure. Something like that. Yeah. That, doesn't doesn't go go. Go. Sure. that doesn't quite uh, uh, really hold up. Do you have an, uh, <clears throat> an example that you could use? Mm -hmm that would be able to function in a similar way as what you're looking for, which is you're looking for some ordered structure which within which you can put a variety of experiences, right? So that you could then make it intelligible, right? Is that the goal? Well, no. Well, it may be, but I'm trying, like, where does the soul fit in? I don't know. That's let, let me just ask you a question. Yeah. Do you have any example of something that you're familiar with that does that in some other area? Dreams. Finding a structure within which you can put all the data in a oh. given field? Mm. My checkbook. What? My checkbook. I know what I'm over What's your show? Her checkbook. <laughs> well, I'll see. I don't know. That um, might be for finances. By yeah, the way, are you into music? Yeah. What do you think of the circle of fifths? Well, that's a pretty good example. Um, have you ever mastered the circle? I of have fifths? not, and it's one of my goals. Then you don't know how that structure helps understand music. 
this right. And By I the way, want to. Yeah. have you ever taken chemistry? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are you? Can you talk about <clears throat> the Mendeleev periodic table of elements as a structure within? No. no so you don't know that either. Right. 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 Oh. Are you into astronomy? So that you can then talk about the structure of the planets mathematically, such as it's present in Ptolemy? No, I wish I could. You don't have that. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, oh. You see, I wonder whether or not yeah. you doubt whether there could be a structure for all of those experiences. Yeah. Do you? Do you have some suspicion that maybe there isn't any? Any structure that would be able to be uh, function no. in such a way as the highest experiences can be related within it as if it were in a checkerboard? No, I think for the circle of fifths, it's... What? It's, I think for the circle of fifths, I don't doubt. I don't what have is, a doubt. What did you say? I said, for the circle of fifths, I don't doubt no. that there's a structure. You're looking for something that would function in a similar way for higher types of experience, are you not? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, <clears throat> by the way, do you have any suspicion that maybe it doesn't exist? For or couldn't exist? For the mind? Oh, for the circle of fifths? Or for the, the mind? higher experiences of the mind. Oh. So, do you, do you think, by the way, do you think there is such a structure somewhere and you just have to look for it? Or do you doubt that, that there is such a structure and therefore it would be foolish to look for it? Uh, the reason I'm asking my question, by the way, yeah. Is how come you haven't searched it out? How come you haven't looked for it? Like what's kept you from looking for such a structure? Well, you know, I think co cognitive psychology addresses that. To look for it in psychology is probably the worst possible place to look for it. But they use the term mind. Because they don't have a higher range of human experiences. They are into pathology. They're not into higher ranges of experiences. What has kept you from looking for it somewhere else since you recognize the need for it? Too big of a project. What? It's too big of a project. Too big a project for you. Yeah, because yeah, I have okay. to get in the So you're room. inadequate and you're not likely to be able to do it since it's too big a project for you. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dumb broad and you're not don't have the mind to do it. I understand. Well but wait right. here, she, right? she said she, she a dumb broad she dumb broad syndrome. Yeah, she she's kinda of, yeah, she's a dumb broad. She doesn't have Apologies the ability and uh Oh, okay. <laughs> Too big a project. She doesn't fit that though. I like the idea of um, Is that what you just said? Yeah. Well, yeah. that you're not up to too too broad, too big a project for you. Um. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I said. You know what? What? There isn't one person around here who believes that shit you're saying. Well, thank goodness you <laughs> said that. Woohoo! Right? Yeah, yes yeah. or no? Yeah. Nobody believes it. Nobody here believes that shit you're well, telling it's a, you're it's a, I haven't had time. How about that? No, no, oh. wait, 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 wait. Right. I'm with Rob. No this, time. This is between you and Julie, but I did want to jump in and Thank you. only Same underline way. something that I may have been missed two seconds ago. Julie said, because I might have to get into mathematics. Did you not say that? I did now? say that. Yes. 
You heard that anyway. Okay. Yeah, the rich man. What does that mean? Oh. There it is. See the face? See that? Another big project. <laughs> the math is hard. Oh. Oh, she loves math. I love math. Yep. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to be good at it. You're not supposed to be good at it. There isn't anybody here who believes you. Not yet. We're working on it. We're trying to. Uh, <coughs> where did you get such a view of yourself that's blocking you from your own goal? About math? Well, I don't know. It's. You know, oh. <laughs> see, that's but, that's what you gotta face. See, to do your work, you gotta like face yourself. I, it's that like, same thing I brought up last night about when I'm successful, <coughs> all hell breaks loose. <coughs> so, like, I was really good in math in seventh grade. I was like really good. I was the top of my class, and every day the teacher would come in and say, well, That's right. Guess who got the highest score today? And it was always me. And I used to wear this red sweater of my sister's. And pretty soon the teachers started getting embarrassed. Or I got embarrassed because it was always, Guess who got the highest score today? You got embarrassed just like your mother would get embarrassed by your success. Is that playing out the fifth grade problem again? I don't know, but... Wait, wait a minute. Well, let me finish the story. Wait, wait. Go let ahead. me finish the story. So the, so the teacher would say, oh, because I always sat in the back, and he'd say, oh, your face is as red as your sweater, right? And I thought, oh, my God. So now he started making me feel bad. By pointing out you're good. That I was blushing. I was blushing. I was hey, good. by pointing out you were good. Yeah, by pointing out I was good. So then, and that, that did something. Then this weird thing happened where I started to feel like I had to go talk to him in office hours or something. He was my homeroom teacher. And I, so I, I, it got like romantic. It became like a s sexual thing or something. Of course. I mean, we didn't get sexual, but so I went to talk to him privately in the room at his desk. And I had some anticipation of something. I don't know what, but he was sitting there and I was sit standing there and I had nothing to say and he had nothing to say, but somehow we both were very embarrassed, and it seemed to like cause me to want to just stop the whole mathematics thing. The whole yeah, you saw it was those words you used last night: dangerous, right. exciting. Right. All of those words came in. Right, right, right. Right. And then it ends. Yeah. And then you have to close it down. Right. You were loyal to your mother. Yeah, she didn't like me to be good. Only my brother right? could be good at math. Yeah, I wasn't see, supposed to be. See, that this profound battle is going on in your soul. Yeah. And you're saying it. Jeff picked up the mathematics. Good, right? That woke up that memory. You saw that, hey, maybe I have a mind for math. I turned it off when I saw what happened and when I showed my excellence. She picked up your term, excellence, right? So to, to do your book, you have to face your own mind. That's true. And you've got courage, and you're doing it. Say, this is now, if you don't mind, all right, this is private. I do that. So don't listen to this. All right, fair enough. Jeff?
Oh, I don't hear that well anyway. Okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Suppose the structure was Platonic philosophy. <laughs> A? <laughs> Sounds big. What is platonic philosophy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. What if the structure were platonic philosophy? I don't know. It sounds intriguing. They might be exciting. Yeah. Uh oh. Look, first of all, I agree with you. Girls should never get excited. <laughs> Not about shapes. <laughs> Those triangles are just too much. <laughs> yeah. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Can I add one more thing to mine? Please. That, uh, I think, I don't know, it might, it might be helpful, but the, because I was reading this book, uh, this Arthur, her name is Dolores Cannon. Does that ring a bell with anyone? Uh-uh. She's a, a hypnotherapist. And she would put people to, you know, lay them down and have them regress their experience as in previous lives. And, and some of the stuff that when she talks to them about is, uh, examples of of birth and uh, dying, and the experience that, that when she has them, like for example, if a baby comes out and it dies at a stillbirth, and she asked this person and, and she said the soul wanted to experience that portion only and then leaves. And then up, other example was um, when a person is in coma for like 10, 20 years and we've read and heard about this, right? And she would say that the soul, the previous soul had left and another soul took over but the family could distinguish the difference because it, it was still looking at the same person. And to me, when I when I read it, it's fascinating. Um, but I don't know how real it is, you know. <laughs> Maybe this is the part we're trying to get at: is how real is the mind and the soul? And and do we just allow ourselves to believe this? I don't know. If that helps. But I I do have the the PDF book if you want to glance through it too. So what do you think that might have clarified? The well because it's um, she's already written this for one and um, it comes down to like a belief system it seems like. It sounds like the framework you're trying to get at is is something more concrete and, and but it's about the mind that when you almost have to convince people anyway. <laughs> of what? What do you have to convince them of? Of your stand, sounds like. Oh. You... Well, no, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to have to convince them. It should be clear. So I think going into some kind of structure mathematically will be helpful. Okay. Yeah. And well, what is the platonic structure that he's talking I about? I don't know. You don't? No. Platonic oh. philosophy. What would that be? I wonder. Have you ever don't thought know. about it? Ah, uh, just barely. Hmm. I wondered, but. Uh, <clears throat> I think Julia Grable has a whole bunch of stuff that we used to do at that old joint there in Costa Mesa. We had all these charts with triangles and various triads. And yeah. I even wrote some of them down for a while until I realized I don't even look at that stuff ever again and I'd rather read it. <laughs> but I was saying, they're, 
that seemed like quite a framework. And uh, yeah. if you think Plato's a little daunting, you could always use Proclus or uh, Plotinus. They're pretty straight to the point. Instead yeah, of having Jeff, don't we want to push together. her to answer the question? I mean, how many times have you read Plato? Uh, or Plotinus or, how many or years, Proclus? Julie? You don't know what Platonic law is? <laughs> No idea? Structure. Like, are you asking questions? Or yeah, no, no. <laughs> Platonic philosophy. Right. Right. You don't know what that is, Julie? Like, I, don't, I mean, rather than giving her advice on particular Platonists to get into, I mean, shouldn't we push her to a answer the question? And not accept that she doesn't know what it is? I, I thought she showed up yesterday, and I haven't seen her here for 16 years. Far away. <laughs> I recall you being at some of these classes and seminars and such, Julie. All right, good memory. A couple memory. books on the show. Yeah, I am. What is Platonic philosophy? Uh, you want the mathematical framework of it? No, just sure. What is it? If you can give what that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think uh, my, I don't think I would differ them from what you would say it is. It's a cop out. I don't know. What do you say it is? <laughs> Let's see if it differs. Come on. He asked you first. First, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I thought her question was more clearly focused on how does Platonic philosophy provide a framework for for, for mind to understand the higher reaches of the experience of mind. Sure. It wasn't I, so broad as what is philosophy. Well, that was well, the question. Well, Pierre. Plato Pierre had suggested Platonic philosophy as an answer, right, to the question. And when the question rose for Julie, she said, "I don't know what Platonic philosophy." Is. So that's all I was focused on. No, he yeah, had. I, asked I, don't, I don't mind the expansion on her original. He had question. asked what the mathematical structure of it was mm. of Platonic philosophy. Oh, I didn't get that. You got to record it. So you want to go back over. There. If I wanted to? If we wanted to. If we wanted to. Yeah, anyways. Mathematical structure, structure, structure within which high, high, the highest times range of experiences can be frameworked, right? Not just mathematical, but including all that language. Maybe even the lower experiences, too. The complete range. The complete range. Yeah. So, um, you ever get in paperbacks? I got into one once. Oh. Do you know the uh, essential Plotinus? Yes. Why don't you say to yourself, maybe I should that master so the section. <laughs> maybe I should master the section on the soul. Okay. All right. Now, I can sell you this book for four or five times the price. <laughs> All right. Well, I have one already. Oh, so. God. Uh, another good one. Hey, would it not be interesting to, to uh, discover yeah. what you go through if you decide to do it? Yeah. <coughs> because that is your question, isn't it? Did you, add, did you not a short while ago say yeah, yeah. you yeah. wanted to know what it was? Yeah. What would it take to decide to do it? To decide to do it? On your part? A little bit of mine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's only 30 pages. All right. How long does it take you to read 30 pages? A few years. <laughs> but I'll try to shorten that. I'll stay up all night. Good. Why, why, hey, do you want to try it? See whether it makes yeah. it. See whether it's interesting. I do need to do that. Okay. I appreciate the. See what happens when you bring a good book around. Yeah, I do. We ought to be able to hear a report on it, should we not? I think yeah. we, we, we require a report. Yeah. Okay, report required. Okay. <laughs> And if it's sufficiently interesting, yeah. maybe it will relate to Lisp. Hey, yeah. I'm sure it will. <laughs> All right. Then we'll um, really get some. I only have one problem. Good. I do need to do that. With the emphasis on need. Did I say that? Need, yeah. Need or want? To look at this chapter. So. I definitely need to. 
Um, do I want to? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Thanks, Pierre. My work here is done. Pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you for dropping by, Pierre. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Cheers. step what? one. Oh. Okay. Are they That's good? Not open I'm not going to be. Get rid of it. I got them off. What did you do wrong so that you have to wear those things? <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to see. They've been in the house for, uh, I mean, I'll tell you how they long. They look too short for you, Pierre. I didn't even buy them, by the way. They don't look like they fit you. Wow. Are they short? Oh, they're short. They're too short. Ah. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you. W. Thank you. W. Thank you. W. Thank you. W. W. Fun. W. Fun. W. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Double. Double. Thank you. Double. you. Double. Thank you. Double. Double. Say a word. Why? Why were you busy working? Ah, bullshit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, you got me. Yeah. Yeah. You walking around? Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Off. Uh,